you guys are both familiar with dating and being celebrities and the spotlight that comes with that. What is the key to fidelity in such a high profile situation? Ooh, you started off with a big yeah, one. Yeah, you did. The key to fidelity. Go ahead, Rodney. What Don't be crazy. No, <laughs> listen, we, um, look, we, we both had our own lives before we met and we did our thing. But I think when we got together and decided that we were going to get married, we talked about what was important. We discussed the rules. We discussed how we wanted to live our lives. We even went to therapy about it. And so we got ready and we knew what each other expected from the other. And from that moment on, we've been on the same page. And I think that's the most important thing. So many times people jump into relationships without kind of talking it through. This is what I expect from you. And this is what you should expect from me. And we did that. And, and we've been living by that for the last almost 30 years. But the same page, sometimes we would fall off the same. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we weren't even on the same chapter, book, True. any anything like that. So we were able to, through therapy and through being able to, you know, um, just really be committed and talking and communicating, we were able to get back on the same page. So it's not really about when you're swinging from chandeliers and everything is so beautiful. And I think my dad said it at our wedding. He said, look at these twinkly lights mm -hmm. and look at this beautiful wedding. But like when this is, when the lights go out, like how, how, how are you working through the hard times? So we created an arsenal of tools to try to get us through some some, some tough times. And when they came, which they always do, we were ready. And that's why you are perfect to lead this show as a couple. So on that same topic, how is it about finding authenticity through that process and delivering that message to this group of women? Because that is something that they indicated that they have struggled with or been challenged with um, in their prior dating situations. Well, we were we didn't want to walk in there being too preachy, right? Because we've been through some things. We wanted to be, say to them, hey, if you if you need us, we're here. If you want to ask us any questions, we're here. And same with the guys, which is what I think I love so much about this show and us hosting it was Rodney was able to sit down with them and talk with them, keeping it real, things that they don't say to women. Sometimes guys, guy to guy, they have different conversations. So I love that part about, us hosting because we were able to be together and impart wisdom, be sit, be apart and go to each other's corners and be able to talk about. It. And we were allowed to be in, during the whole process. We didn't just come in, do wraparounds and leave. We came in, we got involved. We met the guys from the beginning. We got to know them. We had our favorites. We were very, very invested. And so were the women, because that was our big first question is like, are y'all really looking for love or this is just another gig? Like, so, and they all, authentically come across as looking for something and that looking for someone special. And that I think is what is at the heart of, of uh, Queens court and why I think it's really good. And, and for, I think for them, it's been hard because each one of them are, are celebrities. So when do they let their guard down? How do they let their guard down? And, and do I want to do that and be vulnerable and who is loving me for me? Uh, who's in it for the real thing? Um, so that was a challenge early on because, as you'll see, there was so, so many red flags early on. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. And we kept saying, just give them a chance. Give them a chance and get to know them. And you might find something out about the person that you didn't know uh, before. So that is a challenge for- I gave Rodney a chance. She did. I mean, he she was did. he was cute and all, but- like, I had to chase. I, I, I was to try to do the quarterback. Because at one point, I think it was Tamar. She's like, I don't want no- I don't want to know this. I'm like, you know, you never know. You might get something different. Mm -hmm. You just got to look past what you're saying you don't want. That's fair. That's fair. So in that, what made you get involved in this process? Were you mentors to in your um, personal life, to friends and sort of their relationships or younger celebrities, athletes, or was this something you were approached with because people looked at your relationship and thought that it was something that others could gain, um, glean something from? I think on paper, it really sounded good to have a couple who's been through it. We've allowed each other to shine and for over almost 30 years. So I think on paper, it was just a great idea. And when Will Packer and when Peacock came to us and said, hey, you know, would you like to do something like this? We thought mm, this could be really good for us. So we we liked it from the get. 
I don't know that we knew how invested we would be until we got there. And once we got there and we met the guys, we were like, these are real people really, you know, looking for love. And, and we were extremely all in from day one. And I think that's another reason why it worked out so well because the investment that we had was authentic. Whenever I would leave the ladies, like if Rodney wasn't included in one of our conversations, this guy was on my text talking about what they say, how'd it go? <laughs> Who did that? Who said this? Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like you are way too into this. But that was what I think made us perfect hosts for it. And I think it's, it was a good partnership. So obviously relationships in this era are a little different. There's a social media aspect. It's all more exposed. What is something that you learned about relationships for this generation or this era of people that they're going through? That's something that you may not have experienced when you were first dating. Great question. Yeah, it really is. Because we didn't we didn't experience that, as you mentioned. We didn't thank God. We didn't have to go through the social media aspect when we were dating or early on in our careers because uh, it would have been a whole different ball game. I think, but it's, it's challenging. And I think that one, one of the things that doesn't happen as much nowadays is people don't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. They don't sit down and look each other in the eye and have real conversations. A lot of things are just over text or over DMs. Um, so that was a big emphasis of get to know the person, which is great why this concept worked because they were, you know, all in the house together. You got to really mm -hmm. interact with each mm -hmm. other whether it was the three queens and, and the guys or it was us and the queens or us and the guys, we got to look them in the eye and, and really talk to them. Yeah. Which I think is the most important thing. I don't think I would, I don't know if we would have made it through social media. Cause I mean, it's, that's a whole nother animal. And a, a lot of uh, what all the queens have been through has been played out on social media. So that is a, that's a difficult nut to crack. I think when we met, Rodney had to deal with, okay, he's got a high profile girlfriend, right? I was already on TV when he was in college. I was already on jump street. Like we, so when I first came to one of his games and people were asking me for autographs, like, I remember that was kind of weird. Like, do I stand back? Do I, do I not be Holly Robinson right now? Or do I just let him be? And he was okay with it. Right. So I think that was another way that Rodney really related to the guys, but social media, they had to kind of teach us because we got together before that, you know, before that age. So that for sure is something that um, is a huge hurdle that they, they were actually teaching us about. So with the men that were featured on the show, were there any surprises for you or anyone you thought <laughs> might've been one way turned out a little different? No spoilers, but just were there surprise <laughs> elements? No, uh, spoilers. no spoilers. But there were so many. Oh, there that were so you many. You thought were... One way. Yeah, were totally I was different. Just the, the first episode, oh. I was like, now I did not peg that guy to be somebody who uh, would go the distance or that would be hanging out like that one. Uh, and then I would be like, oh, when I first met him, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, he's going to be mm -hmm. at the end. And then he... Faded out. So I, I, I think that was what for Rodney and I was so much fun. We played along and it was really all happening in real time. So um, I think that's what stands out really. We have a lot of this type of genre of the show out, but what really stands out about Queen's Court is that I think um, the us going through the journey with them, we yeah. were we were on board on on the Queen's team, but we were also fighting for some of the kings. Yeah. So that I think and is their what personalities gave us shine yeah. through. Boy. Oh, it, was, it was pretty amazing. I was like thinking, spin off for him, spin off for him. <laughs> yeah. First, you got yeah, because yeah. It, yeah, it was it was fun to go through the process. There were some some kings among yeah. those men for sure. Okay, really quickly, what's one thing you learned about love from going through this experience? Ooh, come on, Ooh. Rodney. I do, see. That's why. I, Give she me would always say, think. she's thinking, no. yeah, she'd throw it on me. What time to think? Man, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. One thing about this experience that I learned through this experience. Hmm. I learned through this experience that I don't want to be single again. <laughs> I, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. The game is. You, yeah, because so you threw out social media and all that. Ooh, if yeah. You a good thing. Figure it out, sit down and just be grateful for what you have. But I also learned that it's never too late, right? I've learned, I have a lot of friends who are single, 
who are my age and some of them are single and some of them are, have never been married. And, you know, some of them really struggle out there. So I learned how hard it is out there. Yeah. I learned how difficult it is in the age of social media, which we didn't experience. But I also learned that there are some really good people out there that are looking for amazing relationships. And when you find that person, you have to be very forgiving and you just maybe not so judgmental and um, be open, be open, be open. I think That's it's... the scary part, like be opening up, yeah. opening yourself up, which is what I love that about the Queens that they were willing to be open. I think for me, it was maybe not so much that I did learn that part, but reconfirm that it's okay to be yourself. Just be yourself. And that usually is good enough. 